so this is us currently guys and it looks that bright because yeah. anthony has his flashlight off always gotta have a flashlight I always gotta have a flashlight i said off i meant on but yeah. if you turn it off <laughs> I always it's have like my flashlight off. super dark in here the outside the winds are really bad i don't know if you guys could like see that but they don't look as bad from the inside but they're very strong and we did lose all the electricity this is what it looks like to live in a florida home i'm going through a hurricane what we have a house full for my parents and i was on stairs dad sleeping so hopefully this little light gets us through this sucks really bad y'all I wasn't expecting to be seven months pregnant in the middle of a hurricane. No light. My back hurts. My pelvis hurts. That tree literally looked like it was about to fall off. I'm scared, babe. Baby, don't be scared. Come lay right down. So Crypto got scared. Yeah, I'm trying to calm him down. He was barking because he heard the thunder. Come here. It's okay. We'll be home soon, bud. We'll be home soon, Okay? Oh, crypto. oh crypto. crypto! So crypto ran outside. Oh my god. Uh, I need pretzels. Yeah, we need and to get the snacks. Where... Oh, no, wait. Where are the pretzels? Pretzels. Where are the pretzels? Oh, right. Wait, no. These aren't pretzels, are they? No, they're peanuts. I know about pretzels right here. Yeah, I need right here. I dropped the potato. I can dropped I the potato. And I dropped the potato. Oh, careful, careful. Here's a blue Gatorade. I lost the pretzels no, again. I lost the pretzels well, again. No, but I lost the pretzels. <gasps> oh my god. The stuff. Look. There's stuff, stuff on the floor. <gasps> Look at all that. Look at all that. Alright, y'all. So it's Thursday morning. The morning after the hurricane hit. Crypto. Mr. Crypto. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. You okay? You get through this storm, bud? So my baby has not been feeling so good. No, look, he wants to protect his mom. I know, mommy's not feeling good. All right, babe, I'm gonna go pack our stuff up, but when I'm done, we can leave, all right? Quick update, guys. We're leaving Anna's parents' house now. On our way to go check on our house to see the damage there. Yeah. Um, thank God it wasn't too bad. So as you can see, this tree is like huge and it fell. Thankfully, no one lives back here because if that would have fell on someone's house that would have been very scary no, i'm not gonna lie and this area didn't even get it that bad yeah this is like the least one of the least hit areas uh, oh my god babe what happened oh look, at that tree. look at that tree Dang. Oh. Wow. that is so Free. scary like it literally picked up it lifted it out of the grass Dang. it literally mm -hmm. picked up the grass so we're trying to leave um but there's a road closed over there and we are going to probably be seeing that a lot because there's a lot of damages in, in florida in general all right so here we're looking at a bay that used to be filled up all the way to where that pavement is right there with water hurricane ian apparently took pretty much uh, a good amount of the water from this bay i know yeah this is really crazy what we're seeing right now in florida we're about to enter our neighborhood and i'm not gonna lie i am very nervous to see my house thankfully there's not any major damage however our fence is a little banged up so we do have to get this fixed but thank god nobody in the neighborhood got hurt and there's no flooding as you guys could tell we are back at my mom's house again i am <laughs> drinking ginger tea some of you guys are probably gonna be like anna's pregnant you're not supposed to be drinking tea it's ginger tea caffeine free so yeah, no just, caffeine yeah <laughs> i'm not feeling that good guys i think i caught a cold um and all this madness mm. but thankfully we are fine and we made it safely out of this hurricane ian yeah that's the most important thing yeah today is thursday 
I don't even know what day. Is it the 27th? I'm oh, sorry. We're our head. It's the 29th. Wow, you see, I didn't even know what day it was. But the reason that we're still at Anna's parents' house is because we currently don't have any power where we live. Yes, our power is still not there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really hot in our home because the AC is not there. Yeah. And there's a lot of things we can't use, like simple things like mm -hmm. just cooking and stuff yeah. like that. So, so with Anna being pregnant, we need electricity. Yeah, we came down here and as y'all can see in the footage of our home, our fence is basically gone. Mm -hmm. The damages... They suck, you know, yeah. it sucks that we got damages to our house, but I feel like we're very fortunate given the circumstances of the yeah. storm. We're and very grateful. Yeah, that there's been a lot of, a lot of damage caused by the storm. It could have been a lot worse. As you guys know, the news was saying it was coming directly for Tampa Bay and we live in the Tampa Bay area. But yes, our Floridians down south in Fort Myers area, it's another town, Cape Coral, all those cities, our heart goes out to them because they did lose their homes, their businesses, their belongings. I just feel really bad for them and no. I'm sorry, like uh, just thinking about it, I don't want to get emotional, but um, it's just really heartbreaking seeing, you know, we have friends out there too and it's not fair. We've seen a lot of crazy things like sharks in the streets and it was just a bunch of crazy Yeah, there's people that got 12 feet of water. Even, I um, think, like, up to 20 feet, which is insane. It was almost 20. Like, I think the highest it got to was 18 feet of storm surge. So, again, our hearts really go out to you guys. We're still praying for y'all. It's, like, about an hour and a half where we live. So, yeah, it's really so, scary. Yeah. And um, it's, this whole experience has really showed me that we definitely need to have a plan in place the next time something like this does happen. Because I do see us continuing to live in Florida and raising our family here. And I don't want to be in the same situation that we were in this time, not being fully prepared. Even though it wasn't completely horrible, we didn't officially have like a full plan in place. Who knows what would have happened if we would have faced a hurricane head on, like our neighbors in Fort Myers and it's more south of us. A lot of people say, you know, it's luck or, you know, Tampa is protected. And I do believe Tampa is you know, is special and is protected. They say that Tampa is protected and yeah. I didn't know this, but I found out these past few days that, you know, looking at the news and everything that Tampa has literally dodged a hurricane for a hundred years, every yeah. time. This was a uh, hundred and one times it's dodged a hurricane. And that is crazy where, when it like basically saying like the news is positive that's gonna come hit us and then it just reversed and then it just like turns away yeah, like the last slightly, second. Yeah, just slightly, it's crazy. So we are blessed to be here, but mm. again, like Anthony said, we definitely want to have a plan B. Now that we have baby boy on the way, we mm. don't want to take any more chances. So I don't know, babe, we should look at some houses like up north or something. <laughs> Whoa, that's big. Not I'm to, not saying buy a house up north. Not, not no, to I'm, move, but I like- I can't see myself leaving Florida no matter not, how many hurricanes. He's a Florida boy, he's a Florida we boy. We face. He's a Florida boy. <laughs> but we do need to have a plan in place just in case because you know that 102nd time, you never know. It's been a rough couple of days. As yeah. you guys can see, I'm wearing the same thing. Well, I don't know. I did a TikTok yesterday, but I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday. <laughs> it's all good. I like your pajamas. <laughs> Anthony and did take a shower. It makes me feel like we're in Christmas. I just been so rough, y'all. Like I have never in a million years I would think I would get pregnant and then have to go through a horrific car accident and then have to go through one of the most crazy hurricanes in history. This pregnancy has been tough but i'm grateful that our little family's safe and mm -hmm. i'm gonna have a lot of stories for our baby but yeah so now we just have to pretty much pick up around our house repair the damage that the storm has caused again we're praying very heavily for the rest of our florida family that everything gets rebuilt and you guys recover as yes. soon as possible like i was saying i just want to re-encourage you guys that everything is going to be okay yeah. the toughest things happen to the toughest people so if you've been strongly affected by this hurricane just know that we're praying for you guys and that there is light at the end of the tunnel and yeah. that you will be fine and then also i want to thank all you guys that sent all the love and prayers and support on our last video our all messages. the messages that you guys sent to us text the, messages calls all everything that, all the checking up everything we really yeah. appreciate it we really care about you guys and we're so thankful to have you guys as part of our family and like we mentioned yes we have damages back home no power all that but all that is fixable and is material stuff mm -hmm. the most important thing is that we have our precious lives and yeah. we're alive Florida's strong we're gonna be back bigger and better than ever so for you guys that are able to 
and willing, we do highly encourage for you to donate to a legit foundation that is helping Floridians out because now is a time of need for Florida. But and be careful, guys, because yeah. there's a lot of people that scam out there. And I do want to say that, so please be very careful. That's why I say legit people that are trying to do the right thing. And real quick, I know this has nothing to do with the video today. Very quickly say this, now that Anthony mentioned it. There was a few of you guys that have been scammed because pages are pretending to be us asking for money. Like, oh, you're the winner, DM us, or you're the winner, WhatsApp us, or message us, and or sometimes it's through Instagram. Guys, please, please, please do not believe these pages. We will never ask for your money. We we will never ask if I don't know if, if this is gonna happen but like I said people take advantage of hard times like this to make money and it's just sick this is our only YouTube account we do have a vlog channel which is the AA family three Instagram pages which is our main one and time Xana and our personal pages those are our only accounts please yeah, don't believe anybody so else yeah, babe. So, um, sorry. Don't just, fall for scams. Just Please getting, do your research and gets everything me angry. that you do. We got it, babe. We got it. But relax. You're pregnant. It's a tropical storm right now at the time that we filmed this video. So, make sure if you're in the path to prepare yourself and make sure you have all the necessities because you don't want to be stuck without a plan. But with that being said, we're going to close this chapter on our life and move on yeah. because we have we're safe and that's all that stuff matters. to tend to. We have baby boy on the way. We'll let you guys so, know once, well, you guys will know once we're back home. Yeah. We'll, you know, drop another video, but you guys will know. Hopefully we get our power soon. They are saying that it could take up to two weeks. We love you guys and we love you AA fam mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.